Welcome to the Purim Show. My guest today is Debbie Anderson, who is the housing coordinator here at Briarwood and St. James Manor in Purim. Debbie, thank you so much for being with us on the Purim Show. Thank you, Patty. You have a special, special anniversary celebration coming up. Why don't you tell us about that? We do. Here at St. James Manor, uh, we will be celebrating our 25th anniversary open house on Friday, July 24th. That will be running from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. And we will be providing a short tour and a free barbecue lunch to the public. Wow, I can't believe 25 years. That's amazing. Beautiful facility. Yes, it is. Absolutely beautiful. So this is an opportunity for, for people who you know may have family who, who lives here, but also for people who maybe have never been here before to come and eat and, and check out the facility. Correct, yes. We um, are doing a lot of advertising in our local papers um, through the uh, cable TV channels and, of course, by this means and all over because we're trying to draw people in from the surrounding areas to see what a facility we have. Um, so you're talking at yeah, Battle Lake and, and Henning and, and, and Fergus and Frazee. Yes. Absolutely. All now, over. when you talk about free transportation, Debbie, uh, what, what are you talking about to get actually provide a ride to get people here? Correct. We're uh, teaming up with the East Otter Tail County Fair here in Perm okay. that will be running next weekend. And uh, we will be providing um, our nursing home and hospital van will be providing free transportation from St. James Manor over to the fair and for the people at the fair to come over here to our open house. Okay. We will also be using the transit alternatives van that runs here in Perm. So if there are any senior citizens here in Perm who wish to come to our open house, we will be providing free transportation for them as well. And we will uh, be giving them a phone number that they can call to arrange that transportation but basically, what we're saying is, if you would like to arrange that transportation, to please give me a call here at St. James Manor. Mm -hmm. And that number is 218-346-2200, extension 1. Okay, very easy to get a hold of you yes. and, and arrange that transportation. Uh, let's talk a little bit about, about St. James Manor, what makes it different, what makes it attractive for people? Who, who decides to come live here? The people who choose to come and live here are those who um, meet certain income criteria. Uh, basically, this is a HUD subsidized building with Section 8 assistance. We, oh, have, nice. we have 38 one bedroom apartments here, two of which are wheelchair handicap accessible. Uh, to be eligible to live here, you have to be at least 62 years of age to meet the elderly definition or you have to be handicapped in some way or disabled. Okay. And those types of um, handicap or disabilities are verified basically through a family physician. Um, so, so if you were handicapped or, or disabled in some way, you wouldn't necessarily need to also meet that age 62 guideline? Correct, okay. correct. All right. So, and we do have a couple of individuals who are under age 62 who live here now. Mm -hmm. uh, the income limits you have to meet to be eligible to live here is approximately $32,000 per year for a single person and $39,000 for a couple. Okay, do you have couples that reside here? At the current time we don't, but we have had a couple of couples. <laughs> okay, okay. well that's, that's great. Now, uh, to, uh, to avoid confusion, um, this is senior housing not assisted living? Is correct, that true? Correct, correct. Okay. Some people get that confused. This is basically senior living, apartment living. Uh, what people get confused with assisted living is that um, assisted living is 24-hour care where mm -hmm. there's a nurse around at all times, and that we do not have here. We do have um, supportive services that can be purchased separately through Perm Home Care, and that will be uh, that can be purchased and actually in place from seven in the morning till seven in the evening. Okay, all right. Well, we're going to talk with a couple of the residents that have lived here for a while um, in in the next portion of our show. So uh, stick with us. And Debbie Anderson, thank you so much for being with us on the Perm Show. And we hope that everybody comes on over to the open house and sees what's going on Wonderful. here. Wonderful, beautiful facility. Thank you, Patty. Okay. 
Welcome back to the Purim Show. I'm still here at St. James Manor in Purim, and I'm talking to Loretta Ackert and Lee Fritz, and they have are both residents here at St. James, looking forward to the 25th anniversary open house. Thank you both for being with us on the Purim Show. Now, Loretta, you have been here since October 1st, 1984, the, one of the first residents. How does that feel? Oh, you, it still feels good. Good. <laughs> yeah. What are some of the things that you like the best about St. James Manor? Well, I can go out to visit with a lot of different people in that. And, yeah, and it's fun, too. Yeah, I like to meet people. Be, yeah. yeah, being a people person. So <laughs> if you were, um, if you had your your uh, choice of, of being um, surrounded by people, like in an apartment complex, you would prefer that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, so you can still be social and... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, are there um, planned activities for the, the people who live here, Loretta, or are you pretty much on your own to make your own fun? No, no, I, I'm pretty much on my own. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. What is something that you, uh, in addition to the people, what, what is something that you like the best? Have you always been a resident of the Perm area? Uh, pretty much so, yeah, yeah. Perm's always been one of my talents. Okay. Of course, I was closer to Dent, you know, too, yeah. Okay. But in a way, now, I've been in Perm for quite a few years, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, and My kids went to school here, high school and all that, and yeah. So you are able then to continue to see the people that you that you knew your whole life then, being no, so close well, to Dennis. Well, when I come here, I didn't know any of them. Oh, okay. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> so you've made a lot of new friends oh, yeah, here. Oh, yeah, yeah. I didn't know how, anyone really that much in Perm, no. So no. would you recommend that people check this out at the open house and come over and visit over at St. James Manor? Well, yeah, they should. <laughs> yeah, after 25 years of yeah, living so here. Yeah, so I got to know a lot of people here now, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. and you're still enthusiastic about being here, and there oh, can't yeah. be much more of a testimony yeah. That, Otherwise, or, I wouldn't so. have stayed here that long. <laughs> <laughs> You'd have been on your way. Well, okay. Well, Lee, you have been here only since March. Yes. So what are some of your experiences since you've moved here? Well, in? just the friendliness of the people. Okay. They're all so friendly, and you're never alone, you might say. It just <laughs> If you want to be alone, be in your apartment. Otherwise, you got a lot of friends. Yeah, all you got to do is come down to the big room. Yeah, they're, they're there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Somebody. Yeah. So do you, have you found that, that this has a, been a real adjustment for you to be living here at St. James? Uh, what are some of the positive things? That well, you you're not alone. And I've been alone for nine years. So okay. uh, it, uh, and I enjoyed people too. Yeah. It just, uh, and there, there's enough going on. Yeah, not too much. Not too much, no. Yeah, yeah. no. Now, so you have people, I'm sure, that, that share your interests yes. in whatever, yes. you know, mm -hmm. whether we it's... We play cards and... Okay, yeah, yeah. and, and uh, now, did you, I know that you're, the close proximity to mm -hmm. the hospital, to the mm -hmm. clinic, yes. is, is also a bonus. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, what would you say um, is, are, do you prepare meals on your own then, or is there a... Well, I usually go dining? to the senior center. Okay. for dinner, but uh, not every day, and then I make my own. Okay, so mm -hmm. you have cooking facilities yes. in the apartment? And, yes, And so it's mm -hmm. just just like... Just like home. Just like mm -hmm. home. Okay. Right. Okay, mm -hmm. and, and are you originally from the Perm area? Yes, I am. Okay. Born and raised. Okay, so you know a lot of people here? <laughs> yes, um, I do. So give me a, a, a sense of what you hope, who you hope to see come over here for the 25th anniversary party on the 24th. Well, anybody July. that wants to to uh, get into a place that they're not alone. Very good. And need need a little help maybe and okay. stuff. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Well, thank you both Lee and Loretta for being with us on the Perm show and again for tuning in if you want more information about how you can get a ride over here on the 24th on Friday the 24th from the from the Fairgrounds uh, 346 2200 extension 1, and that will hook you right up with the housing coordinator, Debbie Anderson. Thanks so much for tuning in.